uh, power of a product property. And I don't think this one, uh, you it is useful sometimes for simplifying an expression, um, but it, you could get by without remembering this one. But again, power means exponent, right? And product, that that is the answer to a multiplication problem. Multiplication, it's a long word. And so what this is going to look like um, is you're going to say something, uh, for example, um, two times uh, five and to the um, third power. So what this can help you do, right? So it's the, it's the power, here's the power, right? Here's your power of the product. So, and so of the product, which is all of that right there. So there's a couple things we could do. So um, you need to understand either one of these is an okay way to simplify it because usually this is part of a more complex problem. So um, you want to look at the rest of the problem and figure out which of these would help you simplify it best. So we can see that two times five is 10. So one way that we could go with this is we could change that and we pick a different color, right? Two times five is 10, right? And then the third power is right here, right? So then we have 10 to the third power, which is really just 10 times 10 times 10. And, you know, this would be the same as 1,000, right? So all of these are equivalent. So this, right, me, I think this is equivalent to this which is equivalent to this, which is equivalent to this. So as you get further in mathematics, what you're going to find out is sometimes it's best to leave it like 10 to the third. Other times you're gonna want the actual number 1000. And then sometimes, right, you're gonna to wanna to use this power of a product property. So what is that going to look like? So let's talk about the power of a product property and what that is going, the rule here is, so first of all, we have to remember that there are invisible ones right here, okay? And so the rule is, if this, if your exponent is three, right, whatever this exponent is, you multiply that exponent onto whatever's uh, the uh, exponent that's already there. So this is going to be two, and the exponent is one times three times five, and that exponent of one times three. So then the equivalent expression is two to the third times five to the third. And so we can show that this is equivalent, right? By multiplying it out from here, right? That um, two to the third is two times two times two, right? Which is eight times five times five times five, right? This is 125. And then if you multiply those two numbers together, it's 1000. So you get the same value, right? But what you have are different ways of showing, right? That this is equivalent to this. Okay, so the power of a product property, I'm gonna give you another um, example down below. It doesn't have quite so much writing on it, but Right, the power of a product property is going to say something if you have three to the second power times 11 to the fourth power, and you're going to take all of those and um, have them to the third power. The rule is that you multiply that exponent onto the other exponents. What you're going to have is three. And then your exponent is, um, sorry, 